ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. In order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, a pre-oil change cleaner, and an oil collector. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description, as well as in the link to another type of oil and the amount needed. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Before changing the oil, we recommend adding a pre-oil change cleaner to the used oil. This will enable you to unclog your engine and get rid of any persistent residue to reduce your consumption of oil and fuel and to reduce the polluting emissions as part of a technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for five minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and leave your engine turning over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. In order to drain your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Raising a Vehicle Safely before carrying out this step. If the front plastic crankcase is present, you should now remove it to have full access to the drain nut. You can now see the drain nut. With a drain key, loosen the drain seal, then finish it off by hand. Be careful on the last few turns of the screw, the oil can squirt out immediately. You have to anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, how to make a collector for liquids. Let the oil burn out for 10 minutes or so. When performing an oil change, it is necessary to replace the oil filter. Access to the oil filter is done from underneath the engine compartment. To prevent the oil that's contained in the filter from spilling out, place the liquid collector underneath. Using a socket wrench, an extender and a 27mm socket, release the oil filter flange by turning it anti-clockwise so that it turns easily. Finish off by hand. When it has been released, turn it upwards to avoid spilling any oil. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one. Separate the filter cartridge from the flange, levering it off with a flathead screwdriver. Using a thin screwdriver, take out the rubber ring, which is located on the flange washer. Clean the filter flange with brake cleaning fluid and a piece of tissue. Take the new filter, replace the seal with the one that is supplied with the new filter, ensuring you properly oil its surface. Insert the new filter into the flange until you hear the click that says it has been locked into place. Rescrew the filter in place until it makes contact. To tighten it, take a socket wrench, an extender and a 27mm socket. Now tighten until the washer comes into contact with the metallic housing of the filter, then apply a little pressure. Careful, with this kind of filter, the new joint can be excessively thick, making the actual tightening process more complicated. As a result, you have to ensure that the flange washer is flat against the metal engine frame. For this step, you can also use a torque wrench that has been set to 25 Newton meter. Replace the drain nut with a new one, then screw the drain nut back in. Start by hand, then finish off using a wrench without being over sellers, of course. Now you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, put the crankcase back in place. Then lower your car back to the ground and check the oil level.
This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fill plug, start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath, remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.